Jean-Paul Pierre Casimir Perrier French, Kazimi Pie, the 8th of November 1847 to the 11th of March 1907 was a French politician who served as president of the French Third Republic. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 He was born in Paris, the son of Auguste Casimir Perrier, the grandson of Casimir Pierre Perrier, premier of Louis Philippe, and the great grandson of Claude Perrier, one of the founders of the Bank of France. He entered public life as secretary to his father, who was Minister of the Interior under the presidency of Thiers. In 1874, he was elected general councillor of the Abbey département, and was sent by the same département to the Chamber of Deputies in the general elections of 1876, and he was always re elected until his presidency. In spite of the traditions of his family, Casimir Perrier joined the group of Republicans on the left, and was one of the 363 on the Seize Mai. He refused to vote the expulsion of the princes in 1883, and resigned as deputy upon the enactment of the law 26th of June, 1886 because of his personal connections with the family of Orléans. On 17 August 1883 he became Undersecretary of State for War, a post he retained until 7 January 1885. From 1890 to 1892 he was Vice President of the Chamber, then in 1893 President. On 3 December he became President of the Council, holding the Department of Foreign Affairs, resigned in May 1894, and was re-elected President of the Chamber. On 24 June 1894, after the assassination of President Carnot, he was elected President of the Republic by 451 votes against 195 for Henri Brisson and 97 for Charles de Pai. His presidency lasted only six months. The resignation of the Depay Ministry on 14 January 1895 was followed the next day by that of the President. Casimir Perrier explained his action by the fact that he found himself ignored by the ministers, who did not consult him before taking decisions, and did not keep him informed upon political events, especially in foreign affairs. As of 2016, of all presidents of France through its history, Casimir Perrier had the shortest presidency. From that time he completely abandoned politics, and devoted himself to business—especially mining. At the trial of Alfred Dreyfus at Rennes, Casimir Perrier's evidence, as opposed to that of General Mercier, was of great value to the cause of Dreyfus. <laughs> Casimir Perrier's ministry, 3 December 1893 – 30 May 1894 Jean Casimir Perrier, President of the Council and Minister of Foreign Affairs Auguste Mercier, Minister of War David Raynal, Minister of the Interior Auguste Bordeaux, Minister of Finance Antonin Dubost, Minister of Justice Jean Marty, Minister of Commerce, Industry, and Colonies Auguste Alfred Lefebvre, Minister of Marine Eugene Spuller, Minister of Public Instruction, Fine Arts, and Worship Albert Vigor, Minister of Agriculture Charles Johnert, Minister of Public Works Changes 20 March 1894 Jean Marty becomes Minister of Posts and Telegraphs as well as Minister of Commerce and Industry. Ernest Boulanger succeeds Marty as Minister of Colonies. <laughs> 